What's up, Vortex Nation? Today we will be teaching you how to pair an AB Kestrel to your Fury AB. If you've not already watched parts one through three of this tutorial series, there are links to them in the description below. In them, we go over important setup steps you will need to complete before pairing your AB Kestrel and using your Fury AB. While not required to operate a Fury AB, a Kestrel with applied ballistics can enhance the functionality of your Fury by obtaining more precise environmental data than the Fury AB is capable of acquiring on its own. To ensure best results, one thing we recommend you do prior to pairing your Kestrel is set your Kestrel's live reading data refresh rate to two seconds. To do this, you will need to go through Kestrel's Kestrel Link app, not the Kestrel Link Ballistic app. Toggle your Kestrel's Bluetooth on and switch it to PC Mobile. Open the Kestrel Link app and select your Kestrel from the list. Once on the Kestrel dashboard, select the More tab at the bottom to reveal all available menu options and select Manage, Manage Live Readings, Data Refresh Rate, and Set to 2 Seconds. If your Data Refresh Rate options do not display properly, like ours, just pull down on the white box. Click Submit. You will be taken back to the Manage Live Readings menu and the data refresh rate should now read 2 seconds. Close the app and cycle the Kestrel's Bluetooth off and then on. It is now ready to connect to your Fury AB. The Fury AB's Ballistic Solver and the Kestrel's Ballistic Solver can be used simultaneously. It is important to note that if you intend to use the firearm profiles you built in the Fury HD app and uploaded to the Fury AB, that prior to pairing the Kestrel, you should pair the Fury AB to the app and ensure that the setting Kestrel Solution in Fury is set to off. If Kestrel Solution in Fury is set to on, then the Kestrel AB solution would be displayed both in the Fury and on the Kestrel screen the Fury AB solver would be turned off. You should also make sure that your firearm profiles are correct and that correct profiles have been synced to the Fury AB. Then, return to the Fury HD main menu and close the app. In your Kestrel, open the settings menu and turn Bluetooth on. Press the center button on Bluetooth to enter the Bluetooth menu and then toggle left or right so that it says device in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Go to device connect and press the center button to enter the menu. Ensure your Fury AB is on and that Bluetooth is enabled, then select name. Your Kestrel will say searching for devices and your Fury AB will appear on the list. Select it and then press the exit button. A Bluetooth symbol should now appear next to device connect on your Kestrel screen. On your Kestrel home screen, a Bluetooth symbol will appear in the upper right hand corner next to the active firearm profile. With this setup in place, the Kestrel and Fury AB will exchange information every time you press the measure button on your Fury AB. They will each then run their independent onboard applied ballistic solver based on the currently active profile on each device and deliver two independent readings. One thing to note, Kestrels have a minimum ranging distance of 25 yards or meters. If you take a range that is closer than that distance, the Kestrel will read unusable target data received. Pairing these devices is a great feature to have if you are shooting with more than one person or if you are calling corrections for more than one shooter. Okay, you're now ready to call the quickest and most accurate corrections possible all without compromising on versatility out in the field. If you have any other questions about this process, the Fury AB, or any of our other products, please don't hesitate to reach out in the comments below, on the phone, or on any of our social media. We are always here to help.